It's been nearly a year since DJI released the original Neo, and anticipation is building for its successor, the DJI Neo 2. Recent sightings on official regulatory sites, including the FCC in the United States and Singapore's IMDA certification listings, have confirmed that DJI is preparing to launch the next generation of this compact drone. Industry insiders and keen observers have been tracking these appearances closely, and these certifications provide some of the first concrete clues about what to expect. While leaks and rumors have circulated for months, these filings bring a level of official verification that suggests a launch is imminent, potentially making the Neo 2 one of the most talked about lightweight drones of the year. The regulatory documentation shows that DJI has registered a separate radio device for the Neo 2, which is most likely the drone's remote controller. Both the IMDA and the FCC require standalone registrations for radio frequency devices, so it is standard procedure for companies like DJI to list their controllers independently. While some speculated that this could indicate the inclusion of a new beacon system or even an RFID module, there's no evidence in the paperwork to support such claims. The most plausible interpretation is that the Neo 2's remote will have its own unique certification, aligning with DJI's attention to detail and commitment to regulatory compliance. This step ensures smoother global availability and adherence to local communication standards, a necessary step before a commercial launch. One of the more exciting anticipated upgrades in the Neo 2 is its battery system. The new model is rumored to include a 1606 mAh battery, an increase from the 1435 mAh battery in the original Neo. This 12% boost in battery capacity could translate into a noticeable improvement in flight time, potentially pushing total airborne duration beyond the 20-minute mark compared to the Neo's standard 18 minutes. For a drone in this class, ultra lightweight and compact, this improvement is significant. Longer flight times not only allow for extended shooting sessions, but also give hobbyists and content creators greater freedom to explore, experiment, and capture footage without worrying about frequent battery swaps. DJI's continued focus on efficient energy management and lightweight design ensures that this extra power doesn't compromise the drone's portability or compliance with international weight regulations, including the FAA's 250-gram registration threshold for unmanned aerial vehicles. Design-wise, the Neo 2 appears to retain the sleek, compact form factor that made the original Neo so popular. Observers note that it is likely to weigh similarly to its predecessor, staying well under the FAA limit, which keeps it accessible to casual pilots and bloggers without requiring registration in most regions. However, there are notable improvements in safety and durability. Leaks indicate the addition of double-layered propeller guards, a departure from the single-layer guards on the original Neo. This seemingly minor adjustment could significantly enhance crash resistance and protection for both the drone and its surroundings. Beginners, in particular, will benefit from this update, as indoor flights or close-quarter maneuvers become less risky. The extra layer of protection could also appeal to more adventurous pilots, allowing them to push the drone harder without fear of immediate damage from accidental bumps or collisions. Camera specifications for the Neo 2 remain largely under wraps, but industry insiders have shared some promising hints. The original Neo featured a 12-megapixel sensor capable of recording 4K video at 30 frames per second, along with electronic stabilization technologies like Rocksteady and Horizon Balancing. It also included 22 gigabytes of onboard storage. Early rumors for the Neo 2 suggest a potential jump to a 1x1. 3-inch CMOS sensor, a notable increase over the original smaller half-inch sensor. If accurate, this would be a substantial upgrade, potentially delivering improved low-light performance, higher dynamic range, and more precise color reproduction. Such an improvement would bring the Neo 2 closer to the image quality typically found in larger drones, offering bloggers and casual photographers more professional-looking results from a truly compact and portable device. In addition to the sensor upgrade, the Neo 2 is expected to maintain and possibly enhance several user-friendly features that made the original model appealing. Palm takeoff and landing, AI-powered subject tracking, and quickshot modes are likely to return, providing ease of use for both beginners and experienced pilots. 
These features are essential for content creators who need simple, reliable tools to capture high-quality footage without extensive setup or piloting experience. AI-assisted flight modes will likely be more refined in the NEO 2, thanks to enhanced processing capabilities, which could improve subject tracking accuracy, obstacle avoidance, and automated flight paths. These refinements would make the NEO 2 not just a lightweight, fun drone but also a capable creative tool for more advanced applications. Battery performance, combined with aerodynamic efficiency, is expected to be a key area of focus for DJI with the NEO 2. The repositioned battery and possible adjustments to internal power management could offset increased current demands from any new propulsion system, such as upgraded motors or modified propellers. While the exact details remain speculative, the balance between extended flight time, weight, and stability will be crucial for maximizing the drone's usability. Longer flight times paired with improved stabilization and a larger sensor will enhance the NEO 2's capability for capturing smooth, cinematic footage, even in challenging conditions or tight spaces. Regulatory certification also indicates DJI's careful attention to safety and compliance. By adhering to both IMDA and FCC standards, DJI ensures that the NEO 2 can operate legally and safely in multiple regions. While registration in the US and Singapore doesn't guarantee immediate market availability, it strongly suggests that DJI is actively preparing the drone for release. Export regulations, customs processes, and regional sales strategies will still play a role in final availability, but these filings signal that the NEO 2 is nearing the final stages before hitting shelves worldwide. Flight performance is likely to remain a strong suit for the NEO 2, Given DJI's track record, pilots can expect smooth, responsive controls, even in tight or indoor environments. The drone's compact frame, combined with improved battery efficiency and possible updates to propulsion, means that it will continue to deliver a balance of agility and stability. This is particularly important for users shooting video in dynamic settings or attempting creative maneuvers. Enhanced electronic stabilization, AI-assisted flight, and other refinements will likely ensure that footage remains steady, cinematic, and easy to edit, elevating the NEO 2 above many other drones in its lightweight class. In conclusion, the DJI NEO 2 represents a thoughtful and significant evolution from the original NEO. By combining a larger, higher quality sensor, extended flight times, enhanced AI features, and improved safety measures, DJI is creating a lightweight drone that appeals to both casual users and professional content creators. Regulatory certifications from the FCC and IMDA signal that the drone is nearly ready for global release, while rumors about the battery, propeller design, and imaging systems suggest substantial improvements over its predecessor. If these leaks are accurate, the NEO 2 will not only continue DJI's dominance in the lightweight drone segment, but also set a new standard for what small, portable drones can achieve in terms of performance, versatility, and creative potential. For enthusiasts, vloggers, and aerial photographers, the NEO 2 promises to be an exciting upgrade, offering the perfect balance between compact convenience and professional-grade capabilities.